she's gone through a lot, hell and back, you're right, but no money at any amount is gonna help someone that's been to hell and back for 43 years. One of these people will be given $25,000. They don't actually have to do anything to be awarded the cash prize. Instead, a panel of ordinary members of the public will be judging them and their lives. You have to decide which one of them will receive $25,000. I was born both guy and girl. My mom um, opted at that time to um, have the surgery. I didn't have any say at all. I had gender reassignment surgery. I definitely regret the surgery that I had. Um, Stephanie, shed me a tear, cry me a river, pour me, pour me. I understand that you went through a lot of hard times, but you're grown up now. You have to put the times behind you and keep moving forward. I do believe that she's making way too much out of her situation because look at me, I've gone through a lot too. No, I wasn't born half man, half woman, but I've gone through a lot of things in my own life to where I'm, I've questioned things, I've wondered things, but you know what? I'm 22 years old and I already know what I am, who I am and where I'm going. She is 43 years old and still has no damn clue. I think it's amazing she's accomplished what she has. No telling what kind of psychological problems she's had. I think that Stephanie, as a harm, she's a hermaphrodite. I think that her parents went in and tried to help her and help her find an identity. So I I think that she should be gone. Um, Antonia, she should be gone because yes. her parents made it. No, I, I think her. that I think that she's angry. She's very, very angry at parents, the world. If your parents were given the choice to assign you a gender and it were the one you didn't want and you had to live with that for the rest of your life, would you not be angry? Yeah, this but, is an impossible situation. The psychological yeah. scars of something like that are going to last a lifetime. She's been to hell and back, and she's going to suffer the scars of that early life. Exactly. She never said she came back. You're right. So guess what? I don't know how much it costs for a plane ticket to get back from hell, but it ain't $25,000. Can they judge without prejudice? Could you? Without Prejudice, Tuesdays at 9, 8 central, only on GSN. Go to gsn.com slash without prejudice for more video and details.